What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. This is your weekend motivational video for your day and your weekend and your evening and any other day that you want to apply it. I hope you guys are doing well. The weekend is finally here, you guys, and I am so happy because I have reached, well, officially tomorrow, but I have reached the end of my three-week juice fast. Tomorrow, I will update you guys on everything that I've been feeling, how the experience was, how I'm going to try to go about my diet going forward, but we'll talk about that tomorrow when it's officially my last day. But other than that, you guys, I've been doing pretty well, pretty well. Um, I got to say, though, that I, today I'm just feeling really, really tired, um, really drained. I had coffee twice today, and I just feel like it just didn't do anything for me. It's probably a mix of my fast, and it's my late week, too. So it's just a really bad combo. But I'm glad that my fast is almost over because this is just a lot going on between this fast, the effect of the fast, all the effects of my lady week. And I'm just like, ah. But anyway, I'm maintaining a positive attitude as always. And I hope that you guys are doing the same. Um, so I have finished Tulsa King. Go over there and watch my reactions, which is under my YouTube memberships. And my review, excuse me, and my thoughts and what I rated my uh, experience with Tulsa King. If you are not aware of my YouTube memberships, I have two levels of memberships over there. One is for $2.99 a month. That's $2.99 a month. The other one is for $4.99 a month. So for $2.99, you're going to get priority replies from me, special polls and live streams. Level two is for $4.99 and you're going to get everything that level one has. Plus, you're going to get all of my reactions to all of the shows that I watch, any movies, and all of my uncut Try Not to Last. From what I understand, there's a couple of good movies coming out on Netflix. So uh, definitely, definitely uh, keep on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, you guys. So <sighs> me and Tyrone did a, a video today on his channel. So go over there and check that out because he is actually talking about his experience with the fest that we both started on January 1st. Um, and I'm over there talking a little bit about it as well. So go over there and check that out. But you guys, let's just continue to stay positive. Um, it's the end of the week. I'm happy the end of the week is here. Um, I cannot dive headfirst into eating again. So this is a process because it's like when you're going towards the, well, my experience is that going to the end of this fast. It's like, I'm thinking about all the things that I want to eat, but I know that I can't go into it. And lately, the stuff that I've been craving is healthy stuff, which is a good thing. I'm not craving anything horrible. Although, you know, if I'm presented with a picture of something like a burger or fries or anything, I'm just like, mm, <laughs> it looks so good. But no, like I like my body is craving healthy things, which is a good thing. So, but anyway, you guys. Um, three weeks into this year so far, and I'm hoping that you guys are keeping a, a level head and a positive outlook on, you know, your goals and everything. Um, so far, my first main goal was to start this year on a healthy note, and I've been doing that for three weeks, and I am proud of myself, um, because that was one of the biggest goals that I wanted to accomplish for 2023, and the fact that I have done it, um, and maintained a positive attitude throughout it um and a positive mindset um it, it really does mean a lot that i've been able to accomplish this and so my next accomplishment is to try my best to maintain a healthy eating habit um will that be easy no will i fall off i don't know maybe um but of course you guys know that i am remaining dairy free um you know, so that's one of the things that's not going to change because I have to. I have to stay dairy free. But what I have been doing to kind of keep my spirits up with things that I want that are not dairy free is finding recipes for things that I love and enjoy on Pinterest. And I am coming across a lot of really healthy stuff that I think I am really going to enjoy. Um, you know, with salads and things like that, because I really do love to cook and one of my things is I want to try to not eat out as much. Um, if I do eat out, it cannot be 
the way that we, you know, the way that I used to eat out at all. Um, you know, because a lot of the stuff that we eat out is just not good. You don't know what's in it. And so my goal is to try to recreate dishes that I like eating at different restaurants at home, just a healthier version of it. And of course, dairy free, whether it's um, Alfredo or, or whether it's something cheesy or whether it's, you know, I mean, I have personally found all good alternatives when it comes to milk and cheese and things like that. Um, I have made you know fettuccine alfredo dairy-free version and it was to me it was like absolutely amazing um but you know around this time of year it's comfort food season you know and you kind of want to go with all the comfort foods whether it's chili you know loaded baked potatoes and things like that and so i have found a lot of healthy ways so I don't feel deprived of the things that I love. I love tacos, so I found healthy ways to eat tacos, especially the taco shells. Um, Cause you know, the regular stuff is not all that great, but I have found a lot of healthy ways to, you know, eat the things that I love and not feel bad about it. So that's the one thing. Lately I've been hooked on pistachio lattes. <sighs> From Starbucks, it's ridiculous, but I found, I found a recipe for it, and of course, I'm gonna tweak it with dairy-free milk, um, and that's how I've been having it actually. So if I can find recipes online or through Pinterest to, you know, make it in a healthy way, I I will and I have, um, for sure. So, but anyway, my point is that you know, if you've got goals in mind for 2023. Go into them with an open mind. Don't set yourself up to fail on new year, new me resolutions that you know you're not going to uphold the first month of the year. Um, I used to do that and I used to feel bad after not being able to uphold what I wanted to do. And so I no longer do resolutions, so to speak, but I do, you know, carry over any goals that I may have. If I didn't accomplish a goal the year before, I'm going to carry that over and I'm going to continue to keep going until I accomplish that goal. So I just want to encourage you guys to continue to keep going. You know, you may not have done everything that you wanted to do by the end of last year, but it's a brand new year. And I just want to encourage you guys to continue to keep the same mindset of wanting to accomplish those goals. Don't stop trying to accomplish a goal that you had last year just because you didn't accomplish it at the end of the year. Keep going. That's the one thing that you can do for yourself that's going to get you there is to not stop. Continue to do whatever you have to do. Make the adjustments that are necessary in order for you to get closer to your goal because again, when it comes to your goals and your desires and the things that you want, you're only going to get what you give in. So if you don't give in, like if you don't give anything into your goal, you're not going to get anything back, right? So figure out what it was that, you know, prevented you from accomplishing those goals. Did you not allow yourself the time that you should have? Did you not put in the time that you should have put into your goals? Maybe there were other things that you were doing that weren't as important and you put that ahead of your goals and now come the end of the year you're like man I wish I didn't give this so much time because if I wouldn't have done that then I would have accomplished this or you know were you too busy or do you find yourself being lazy sometimes you have to you know take accountability for being lazy and do I get lazy yeah and that's why I tell you guys it is so important for you to have discipline because discipline can get you through those tough times where you don't feel motivated, but your discipline will help keep you going. Opposed to you not having any discipline in those times where you feel lazy or unmotivated, you do nothing, right? So um, continue to find discipline in those things that you didn't have discipline in before. Um, you know, adjust your schedule, adjust what you give priority to. Um, you know, just continue to prioritize yourself and learn how to find resources, whether it's books or articles um, what are your flaws? Do you procrastinate? Are you lazy? Um, do you just not prioritize well? There are books on each and every one of those things. Trust me. I have a book about um, procrastination because I used to procrastinate a lot. And it's a tiny little book, but it helped. 
it helped. Some books you go out there, you read, and it, it's it's like a slap in the face. Like, oh my gosh, why have I been this lazy? Or oh, why have I procrastinated for this long? And it's good to find resources like that to help you, you know, move along um, towards your goals, whether it's success, whether it's a career, relationships, love, health, no matter what it is, go to a bookstore, stick your head in a book and, you know, learn some stuff and be honest with yourself, write things down and figure out, okay, what's, and, and this is not to say, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? I will never be able to accomplish anything, but it's, it's being honest with yourself and, and saying, okay, what are my flaws and what do I need to do to fix that so I can actually have the space mentally and emotionally and physically to accomplish those things. All right. So that's the key thing here. I just want to leave you guys with that little bit of encouragement. Encouragement. Keep going. All right. Keep going. So let me know if you enjoyed this video. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys are up to this weekend. Also, I'm going to be starting Falcon and the Winter Soldier um, probably either tomorrow or Sunday. We'll see. Depends on how the day goes. Still gaming. I will be gaming in a little bit um, with God of War. Um, and if you guys have your notifications on, make sure that you are definitely um, on standby because I'm going to need your help. I am trying to get back to a mountain. I don't remember how I got there. So go on over there. Make sure that you um, come on to my live stream so you guys can help me get there. All right. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel, hit like, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. I'll see you guys later. Toodles.